Hello, hello, I'm just on your moving air van and I'm back. And today's Thursday, so today I've got a really exciting 4K still book to show you today. Uh, this was released on Monday and I was going to show it to you Monday but it didn't get delivered till Tuesday. So then I had to delay it till Thursday, which is today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you today, we're going to be talking about Mission Impossible. Dead Reckoning Part 1, Mission Impossible 7 in 4K. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's a really nice red and black steel book for you there. There's a, a really nice white back cover for you as well. Um, this is this is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 aka Mission Impossible 7 uh, I've got the other six as well so I am going to I'm going to show you them too so get excited about that if you haven't seen it already but let's uh, let's get the plastic off of this and see how red this actually gets And the J card joins on the bottom as well. It's interesting, isn't it? Let's take the J card off and have a look at the rest of this box, eh? So you got a beautiful front cover there, which then turns around to that memorable moment in the film with the motorbike on the back there. Let's have a look at the inside as well, eh? Cool. So there's three discs in here. Got a 4k disc on the side here and two blue blu-rays today two blue blu-rays so there must be so many special features that they had to put it onto two blu-rays that's exciting isn't it we'll have a look behind the discs as well cool look at the inside of that that's one of the most memorable moments in the film I don't know if you can see that if I look at that that's exciting isn't it Beautiful, lots of red, and then on the back there as well. So red, it's beautiful, isn't it? Very secure. This, like, I actually felt like I was going to break the disc just getting that out. So, a little too secure, but you know, it was an impossible mission trying to get that out of the case. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna watch it. Put it in the player. Have a look at bits on the Blu-ray and probably watch the whole film in 4K and then I'll be back to uh, to tell you a bit more about this film and how it looks. Alright, so stay there and I'll be right back. So, I put a jumper on because I was cold. Sorry, I did a little scan through of my channel. Turns out I've never done any videos on Mission Impossible before so you get a nice delight today. Uh, this is the box set of Mission Impossible that I got. This is uh, Mission Impossible 1 to 5. Uh, in here, you've got a collection of Blu-rays and a collection of 4Ks. There you go, like that. So you've got Mission Impossible, the first one, two, three, four and five, all on Blu-ray there. So that's, that's exciting, isn't it? And there's the back cover for them just basically the details of the film and you've got the same again just with the 4k's absolutely no difference in the front cover or the back cover have a look at these as well yeah of course cool, so that's interesting you've got some blue 4k's for a change so you've got the first one there and you've got two and three and four and five pretty cool isn't it and then there's the back cover of the box set of one to five some pictures there that have images from all five films for me mission impossible really starts at number three i didn't really rate the first two at all uh, there are bits of both of the first two that are okay but i think for me the franchise really starts to pick up from the third one onwards mission impossible 3 was the first film that J.J. Abrams directed as well and it still to this day holds the record for the most expensive film to be made by a director making his film for the first time 
that might have had something to do with the fact that he'd already produced loads and loads of stuff beforehand so he had loads of money so he could show off a little bit but yeah it's really cool information about Mission Impossible 3 for you um, but yeah 3, 4 and 5 I love all of them they're great really good movies which moves us on to number 6 now Mission Impossible 6 for you this is Mission Impossible Fallout there's the back cover as well so you've got some pictures there that infamous jump where Tom Cruise broke his ankle as well if you didn't know about that let's have a look inside eh? cool so you've got a nice nice clear disc there for the 4k and then clear discs for the double blu-ray as well didn't make the ratings stand out on these ones did they no they could have could have done that I really like it when Paramount make the ratings stand out because it looks really cool but they obviously decided not to do it with this one uh, loved Mission Impossible 6 uh, probably the best out of all seven of the films is Mission Impossible 6 Mission Impossible 7 was still really good but I still think the sixth one was better the last hour of Mission Impossible 6 is just incredible to be fair the whole film's pretty incredible and it does it's really good yeah and and on the blu-ray there's the IMAX parts as well so if you watch the blu-ray or the 4k you can see the IMAX enhanced scenes as well I'm pretty sure when you see it on Netflix the IMAX enhanced scenes were there too so it's quite IMAXy for you all six of these look really good in 4k obviously the older ones are a lot there's a lot more difference between the older ones from the jump from blu-ray to 4k there is a big difference there as they get newer the jump isn't as extreme especially when it comes to this one and we'll talk about number seven in a minute but yeah all in all all six of them just look so good in 4k and they're really good to sit through as well except maybe the first two but we've we've covered that already so then we move on to this special case now speaking of special cases I was a little bit I don't know how I feel about how the front of this feels uh, yesterday when I got this through the post I was making everyone stroke it to be fair it felt a lot better stroking it with the plastic still on now I've taken the plastic off I just feel like my hand gets stuck to it so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that uh, when you open it up as well the inside here this just feels like it's gonna fall off it feels like it's gonna fall apart already and I've only had it for like a day less than that so although it is really beautiful red I'm not sure how I feel about this still but the spine here just sticks out a bit I feel like that should be pushed in a bit more but I didn't design the case so sorry uh, down to the film down to the film I tell you the film Dead Reckoning Part 1 was still really good although I hear that the next one isn't going to be called Dead Reckoning Part 2 they're now calling it something else as well as it's now being delayed for like a year and a half because of this actor strike so we've got to wait for a little while now so it's going to be interesting that um, I do look forward to the next one this was still this was still a good a good film I still enjoyed it I liked I liked the idea of the bad guy in this one sort of you know there's parts of it where I was a bit like right okay so you're going down that road then but you know if you haven't seen it you'll find out what I mean when you see it because I don't want to I don't want to spoil it for you so I had a little look at the blu-ray skipped through it. it took me absolutely ages to find a scene that was set outside so apparently there isn't a lot set outside although I was looking for the the car chase but I must have missed it it must have been in between chapters or something but I finally found some bits that were outside and had a little look at that had a look at stuff inside had a look at stuff underwater as well because there's some underwater bits in this too so very exciting all around uh, I went through that blu-ray had a thorough little look I say a thorough I had a little look just at the things that I knew that were going to be necessary to look at on the 4k as well including the opening logos and then I stuck in the 4k blu-ray and I thought I thought the 4k blu-ray was a bit darker to be fair there's a shot right at the beginning where the camera's underwater and it zooms in on this uh, this submarine and you you see it a lot quicker on the blu-ray than you do on the 4k disc so straight away I knew that the picture was a little darker but then when it gets to shots that are inside and dark you know it, it 
it went better if that makes sense because obviously it dealt with the black levels a lot better and then when it was outside it still looked nice and bright so it was nice I just was a bit confused as to why it was a lot darker underwater maybe they maybe they decided to not restore the 4k bit underwater I don't know I wasn't there all in all it was a very good looking 4k disc a decent not a massive not a massive step up from the blu-ray I would have said but I think a lot of newer films that are shot digitally are going to are going to look very similar on the blu-ray and the 4k there's not going to be a ginormous oh my god step up from one to the other but there was still there was still a difference so it was nice like a bit of like a bit of difference don't ya so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about Mission Impossible now um, as you can tell I've put it down so you knew that anyway uh, I'll be back tomorrow director of the week again tomorrow so got another director to talk to you about tomorrow so that's it for today uh, I'm gonna go if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay goodbye